Here's some money. People like you deserve a second chance in life. This person can literally not believe their eyes. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and click the bell to turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Oh my gosh, I didn't see you guys there. No, I don't like that kind of music. It was just randomly playing, I swear. Welcome back to another Gacha Life reaction video where today we are going to be reacting to anything I draw comes to life. If only in real life I could actually draw. Let's get into the story. Hello Athena, you are absolutely adorable. Ever since I was a kid, I love to draw almost anything. Dad will love this. Showing my dad my drawings always made me proud like he was. Dad, look what I drew. Wow Athena, this looks great. Thanks dad, I want to be an artist when I grow up. I bet you'd be a great one when you grow up. We love a supportive father. You make mum proud every day. Little did I know that he was struggling with problems other than being tired. I can already tell this is gonna be sad. Thanks dad, I'm gonna go make some more. She still thinks mum is on vacation. We were mourning the loss of my mother. When do I tell her the truth? Um, see, I knew he wasn't just tired. As I grew up, the loss of my mum tore our family apart causing him to distance himself from me. Oh, that's so sad. Oh wow, she real big now. He wasn't himself anymore. Regardless of the situation, I kept a smile on my face and ignored my problems. Okay, girl, what is going on in this book? Either that's the death note or you just write in the words death. Either way, that's kind of terrifying. I just realized something. I should draw something. I haven't drawn something in ages, but there was one problem I could not ignore. Now that I have everything, what to draw? Oh. A wolf! All right, how to start? Five minutes later. Ah, there we go. Girl, it only takes you five minutes to draw a darn wolf. Would take me about an hour. Looks pretty cute. I wish it was real. Oh my goodness, what the? That is the cutest darn thing I've ever seen in my life. Is that a wolf? I had the power to make anything I draw come to life. Wait a sec, that wolf looks like the one in my drawing. Did my drawing just come to life? With this power, I spent day and night creating plushies and items of all sorts. Oh my goodness, she really has. Though there were limitations, these drawings didn't have a soul. That didn't stop me from expanding my wardrobe though. Oh yeah, girl, I would be making counterfeit Gucci, you know me. I'd be walking around in fake Nikes that I've drawn. Can you actually imagine that though? That would be so cool. If you were good at art, that is. If you were terrible at art, this would be a very, very bad idea. I was planning on telling my father about my power, but he was too flat out drunk to take me seriously. Oh no, poor dad. Life was going pretty well for me until I really thought about how dangerous this power was. Soon, I realized. I can break the economy. I, I can inflate the country. I can make money and be rich. Girl, that's illegal. That is counterfeit goods. I don't know if you can do that. It's pretty bad. Oh no. With great power came great responsibility. So I decided to use my powers to help others in need. Oh, that's so sweet of her. Oh, you look like you need some help. Yeah, my house burnt down and I couldn't cover the expenses. I'm so sorry about that. I had an unlimited supply of money after all. I might as well do something good. I think I have just the solution though. Here's some money. People like you deserve a second chance in life. This person can literally not believe their eyes. They are being handed a lot of free money right now. Thank you so much. I'd like to say my life was perfect, but that's not really true. Oh no, who are these people? Do you mind moving out of the way? Sorry, I, there's enough space for you to go around. So you're getting cocky now. If we wanna go through here, we will. Now move. Wow, she's a strong wannabe delinquent. I had three besties and two bullies. They weren't your typical ones though. We shouldn't have pushed her buttons. She isn't a force to be reckoned with. She's lazy though. The popularity has gone to her head. I guess you could call her arrogant. Either way, let's just steer clear from her the next time. Okay, fine. They were hardcore delinquents. So how long are we gonna do this? At least one of them. Enough times for me to be able to make someone's nose bleed. Why though? Because I want to make people fear me. You get whatever you want by intimidating people. Plus, I wanna become a boxer when I finish this rubbish school. That's actually really nice. Shut up. Gosh, you annoy me like Athena. You really are an idiot. See you around, Athena. See ya. I still can't find my freaking book. Oh. 
It's her. Ugh, my locker is next to hers. Time to be annoyed to heck with her stupid voice. Move. Ah! You're hurting my ears, weirdo. Are you just gonna stand there or scram? We made contact without it being a punch to the face. Are you serious? You want me to punch you? No, no, thanks, bye. Sigh. Freak. Hey, Athena. You're awfully quiet. I'm okay. Oh, hey, Athena. You look red. It's nothing. Something weird just happened, that's all. Okay, well, I'm ahead home. See you tomorrow. Bye. So, wanna chill at my place? Heck yeah, dude. If your mummy's okay with it. All right, I'll call her to see if it's okay. Sure. Ring, ring. How long is this taking? Ah, hello, mom. Is it okay if my friend stays for a bit? What? No, it's not Archie again. No, we are not dating. We can go now. She said yeah. All right, now that we're here, let's do my favorite hobby. Surprisingly, I don't really know what it is. Drawing, duh. Ah, I can't draw, dude. Sorry. Uh, I've seen your old drawings from your ancient textbook. How in the world did you get that? You left your locker open a few days ago. And inside, I found an old sketchbook filled with silly drawings. Boy, that is so rude to go through someone else's locker. Why were you doing that? You are meant to be our best friend. I never knew you were into Yuri, you sinner. Dude, I swear to gosh. Either way, I'm not drawing, you stalker. Did I mention that I also stole? It. Blackmail! It's a hustle. I learned it from GTA 5. You give me no choice. I guess Arian is trustworthy to keep my secret. Five seconds later, after drawing. What is that? It is so cute. Oh my goodness, it's so chubby and big. But then again, if it kind of just appeared on my bed, I would also be terrified. It has no legs. It's super fat. And it looks like the void of life. Maybe me taking the hit was a better idea. I have the power to make anything I draw come to life. But it doesn't actually have a soul. So you're telling me that you could draw Slender Man and he'd appear before us. White faced, tall as heck, and creepy. All of that? Never actually thought of that. That's really scary. That would be great for Halloween though. Who needs decorations when you can just draw terrifying creatures? He won't be alive, sure, but you could do more godlike things like solve world hunger or poverty. What if we could create a charity solving all of these problems? You could, but we need to finish school and stuff. Dude, I could buy the whole school if I wanted to. Flex of the century. Oh, hello Athena. Where are you guys going so soon? Can I just say, Arian's mom is so trendy and cute. What the heck? We're just going to walk around the block. All right then, come back before the sun sets though. Thank you. You're not going anywhere. D dad what are you doing here? You must be Athena's dad. My name is... I don't care who you are. I'm here for my daughter. Okay bit rude. Care to explain why you weren't home for three hours? Sorry, but I didn't realize you'd be sober by then to realize I wasn't home. It seems like there's no point too, since you're always drunk. That's not an excuse to do whatever you want. Oh really? It seems like you can do whatever you want without any consequences. I don't want to be a nuisance, but instead of yelling at each other, maybe you could come to an agreement. I don't know what your problems are, but this argument is going nowhere. We'll just leave it to you guys. Feel free to leave anytime. Oh, his mom is so so sweet. What happened to you, Dad? We used to be so close, but you changed. The death of your mother broke me. You said she was on a business trip. It was to protect you. You were so young. But with all of the stress, the bills, the shortage of money, I just wanted the pain to stop. Dad, I wish you'd have told me. I could have helped. You're only 15. You can't do anything. I can help, Dad. I have a secret that could change the world. I don't care if you have a boyfriend. That's not it. I can make anything I draw come to life. You're kidding. This has to be some sort of joke. Why do you think I have so many clothes, Dad? Clothes that you never bought. And not to mention the plushies scattering my room. You can actually? Yes, Dad. If you opened up and expressed your problems, we could have moved on. Athena sounds more mature than her dad. What is going on? I absolutely love this character. She's cool. Now that this is aside, we can buy a bigger house, pay off debt, and have a better future. Oh, I'm sorry about all of this. It's okay. I forgive you. Me and my father finally stopped fighting and began to use the money I created to better our future. First, we decided to pack our things and move to a new house where we could start fresh. No debt or bills to pay off. We found a nice neighborhood near my father's new job and my school. It looks quite posh. After cleaning up the old place and unpacking our belongings, we were finally able to show it off to my friends. Ever since then, Caitlin started tolerating me since we had similar classes. It was a strange experience. Hey nerd. Caitlin. I heard it was your birthday today. Bye. Do you guys just see that? I'd be lying if I said I didn't like it. Yeah. The 
end. Oh my goodness, that story was actually so cute and it had a really nice message behind it. The main character was actually trying to better the world. This is a good one. I enjoyed that. If you guys enjoyed it too, let me know down in the comment section below. Let me know what I should read next. Hope you're all having a wonderful day and I will see you guys in the next one. Your channel sweet just like some candy. Ooh, hot just like Miami. Yeah, a hit deserves a Grammy. You like it, so subscribe. Let it take you for a ride. Post a comment, you gon' see that purple hair go side to side. Watch it go side to side. And don't forget she got that merch to buy. Yeah.